Good morning, YouTube. This is Dustin with Moldings, etc. again. And today's interesting one is to take a base profile that somebody has chosen and put it in a skirt board. And that skirt board has to be 20 feet long. And it has to be 12 inches wide. So how do we do that? So the first thing is we have to take our materials and we got to do finger joints. This obviously, this is a reject joint, it didn't work out right. But you have to finger joint each of your runs. So you can see the runs there. So you can see there's three per, one, two, three. And here is an offset sample. So I do a tight T and G edge and the first one actually gets profiled with our base profile but then the last thing you got to do is once you do your profiling and you got everything done glue them together but if we look I'm gonna hold this back a little bit you have to offset your joints so there's a joint the others are not anywhere near right here because if you do that, then this could break. So you offset your joints. So here's another joint. Then here's a joint. There's a joint. There's one. These two are far enough apart, here and here, that it's kind of like a brick on a house where if you put them all in line, they'll fall apart. Um, and then here's another one. So again, You've got to do a T and G. I'll come down to this end so you can see it again. So we've got our base profile, and I got a tongue on the edge of it. Then I've got this center piece with a tongue and groove, and tongue and groove. We're going to take that piece off right there, but it's a stable 20 foot long, 12 inch skirt board in alder which you cannot get alder in anything over 12 foot. Most of this is tens and defect cut. So it's nice and select. So again, board stretcher 101. Thanks.